I want to show you how you could easily integrate information from a POS system into Dynamics GP. Let's take a look at it. What I'm going to do is take an export file from a POS system and I'm going to create a sales invoice in Dynamics GP and then show you how I can use that to decrement inventory and also do cash control on that particular transaction. So let's go to Integration Manager. Let me show you what I did. I set up an integration to import sales from a POS system and then create the invoice in GP. Let's take a look at the source data here. Here's some simple data. It shows me by date, by item, and item count, the number of items that were sold that day. So the reason I'm doing this, I want to do this in GP so I can decrement inventory because I'm going to control my inventory in GP. So let's take a look at the, the mapping as well. The mapping is very simple. I've got this simple mapping here to map the header information in the invoice. If I go down to the items, I've got another simple mapping to the items in the source file. So let's run it now and see the results. And it's done. So let's take a look. Go back to Dynamics GP here. Go to the sales area page. Look at that invoice transaction. I believe it's down here. So this is the one that we just created. You can see I've got multiple lines here for each item and for the quantity sold. A good way to look at it is, let's print out the packing list here. Print that out. And you can see this is the results of that import. So I can easily take this document and compare it to data from the POS system. So let's do one other thing here on this invoice. I've got the items here that are sold. This is going to decrement inventory. But also, I want to record my cash so that I can use the bank reconciliation module within GP to control my cash. So I'm going to show the full amount being deposited here. And now I'm going to break it down by tender type. So let's just say that I had $10,000 in cash. Let me put that. And then let's say that I had some credit card payments as well. I can look up the credit card name and say it's a Visa. Select that. Put the amount that I received from Visa. Insert that. And then we have some other credit card payments as well. I can record those. And the value of doing this here, this provides another level of cash control on my system. Select Master Charge, and we'll just put the remainder in here. So now I've effectively broken down the deposit by tender type in my system. I hit OK. And now when I post this, it's going to post the deposit, the receipt, in the bank reconciliation. And also it's going to decrement inventory for these items. So one of the reasons I would want to use Dynamics GP to control a restaurant operation, a multi-store operation, is that I can use the financial reporting, the financial control within Dynamics. I can use inventory and purchasing payables and also the bank reconciliation function within Dynamics GP, but I can still use the functionality in the POS system to control operations in the store or the restaurant.